it just means that that support is there. It means that the um, the fact that you know, people you know and love can maybe come and share it with you, which is not not doable at the Gold, Gold Coast is quite so much. Um, so those things are just really precious, aren't they? Doing all right. I mean, you know. You know, you get up and I probably feel a bit stiffer every morning. I have to warm up longer, which I'm sure no one can believe because my warm ups are already about three times the length of the matches. <laughs> but you know, that's that's what it is. I have to put the time into the body to look after it, and you know, the more we look after it, the more chance I have of getting through the, the lots of days and of squash. So I'm very, I'm very respectful of that, and I put, get, get my physio time in. Deck is a great, a dream to play with. I love playing with Deck. You know, we get on really well. Um, we know, we understand. I think each other. We're quite, we're both quite, maybe slightly quite quiet people generally. And I think that, I don't know, you don't always have to be the same. But we understand when we don't need talking to. We don't have to be in each other's faces all the time. Um, we're not a very sort of demonstrative pair on court and um, we've talked we, we know about that we've talked about it and we just it's just kind of suits as we don't go around everyone knows that my style of play is to go around beating my chest and screaming and shouting and I think it helps that he's along those same lines and we just kind of get on with it and and talk when we need to um, I just I, I love playing playing with him. he's a fantastic doubles player he really is awesome at what he does on the backhand side and uh, he carries me, there's no question about it. A free zapper thing that goes around your neck that gets you free drinks out of vending machines, that's, that's, a, high, that's a high point. Um, everything's provided for you when you realise there's a post office in the village, things like that. It's a pre pretty surreal experience. And then I think also being with good, good people and working together with, you know, I've, I think some of the high, highest points of my time as a Commonwealth player has been working with my brother David, and you know he's a national coach. And you know to to think we've shared this together is just just incredible, and uh, it's kind of one of the saddest things about maybe one you know having to retire. I mean, I think I think the Gold Coast probably has to be you know it's a happy team. Everyone kind of got on, you know, it was great to share that with David um, and just, yeah, at that, that stage of my career, it was, it was very special and also, De you know, our, our Declan and my sort of partnership really worked well. We got a bronze, so we didn't quite get, you know, we were really trying to get the gold, but it was a success for me, you know, just because it's a bronze, you know, the partnership worked well, it, I love playing with him and um, so, yeah, I think that would probably be the one. Yeah, when I got to world number one in, in India, I had, you know, written about it again before. Vanessa was with me and David was with me, Mick was with me and obviously my dad, Malcolm, was right there. And just, I think, the winning of it was great, the, achieving the thing that we've worked so hard for together and the support that they gave me, but to do it with them, with me. Don't get them coming to every tournament and, uh, you know, for us all to be together was just, it was just grand, really. So again, going back to the Commonwealth Games, that was very special at 34 to win a gold singles medal against such a great field um, of players.